Hello, Shoami followers. I wanted to show you exactly what the process looks like for requesting showings in Shoami and picking up showings so that you can actually see the full process of what happens in Shoami from start and creating of it to the finish. We're going to go over the entire process. All right. But to begin, let's take a look at profiles. When we're looking at profiles, your name, your phone number, your brokerage, you must put in um, a license. In order to use Shawami, you must be a licensed agent. Now, you can be licensed in multiple states and go ahead and add every state that you are licensed in. That is perfectly fine. You can also signify. Now, I want to be a buyer's agent. Um, what that means is I'm the one who's going to be requesting showings. We're also kind of saying that interchangeably with the requesting agent. Um, that means that you're not going to get notified of showings in the area. That All you really want to do is post showings. Now next we have the showing agent. I'm That would make me the one that's responsible to go show the homes that are being requested or to produce any of the actions that are being requested, either whether that be open houses, final walkthroughs, uh, video tours, that sort of thing. Now, or you can signify that you want to do both. To do both, that means that you can both request and uh, accept showing requests. Next, if you do elect to be a showing agent or both, you will be asked to kind of adjust your map to an area that you're willing to go show homes in. Um, that is a map that we use to say, hey, if there's a showing in this area and you meet the criteria that you filled out your profile to the full capacity and that you have completed and have done good ratings or it's your first 30 days and you get a boost, you're gonna get showing request just in here. Also, everybody does sign this end user license agreement. Now keep in mind that once you've signed this end user license agreement, there is in the terms and contracts that you are not to solicit to the client during the showing, after the showing, or in any circumstances as such, um, because that showing is the buyer agent's client you are not to be trying to take their clients. You're not to be soliciting to them. Essentially, what you are going to be doing as the showing agent is opening the door so that they can see the home. And you are paid to do so. Once that is signed, your account is created. Now let's go ahead and skip ahead to showing requests. Okay, so a couple of common questions we get. How far in advance does the showing request have to be? The truth is you can go as close to an hour. Now, do I recommend that? No, because the typical person that puts it in for an hour, they may or may not get it picked up. Uh, it's very difficult for the showing agents to drop everything they're doing and go show the home for you, uh, usually within like a 30 minute period of time, right? Because it's going to take them 15 to 30 minutes to drive there, a couple of minutes to prep, that sort of thing. And what you want to do is you want to make sure there's as much viable time as possible. So I personally say that your minimum shouldn't be one hour, that it really should be two hours. Um, that also allows for any cancellations to happen. And that brings me to the next point. If in fact a showing is canceled within the two hour window, but wasn't scheduled within 10 minutes. So right now, if I scheduled something, I have 10 minutes to cancel it with no fees. Or if it's way before the two hour mark, I can cancel with no fees. Now, if I wait 10 minutes and it's within the two hour mark, I will be charged at $20. If it's all the way up to like five minutes before the showing, I will be charged the full amount as long as the agent was actually has proof that they were at the prop themselves that's their time that's their money that's not fair to them to go to the property only for you to cancel it five minutes before now I know this kind of seems unfair if your clients are the ones that canceled it um, we always recommend that if you can just do a reschedule of the showing so that the um, that you can still get the person can still get paid and that the timing is just changed so let's go ahead and create a showing that's a couple hours in advance you go ahead and fill out the MLS number. Now, I highly advise doing so so that the person can check to see if they have access to that MLS in particular. We're going to go ahead and use an address. As you can see, there is a pre-fill that happens, which makes things really nice. 
Now, the showing agent needs to schedule this showing. That means that I know that my buyers want to see it around 5 p.m. October 19th, but I haven't checked with the listing agent to make sure that that time is available. So the showing agent needs to go back and forth and say, hey, list, you know, call the listing agent, um, see if that home's available, see if it's available on showing time, whatever the app is, Supra, whatever it is, and confirm that it's available and then say, yes, I can pick this up and show it at five. Or they need to propose a different time saying, hey, this isn't open till 530 and they need to write that in the notes. Now, keep in mind that multiple people may be asking the listing agent for this. So as much as it may seem like they're trying to push it back by a half an hour, the fact could be that because multiple people were calling the listing agent at the exact same time, there could have been any number of compute confusion or mix up. Now, I have already scheduled this showing. That's where you kind of provide any lockbox information or where the key is and how to access the house from there. Now, you can add up to five showings in a single request. And what this is, keep in mind, Xiaomi does price per showing. So at the end, when you set the price, it is important to remember that this will cost per showing. Now, we'll go ahead and enter in the buyer's name. In this case, I'm going to use a couple, their phone number. We're going to signify them as a couple. Again, this is just for security purposes. What we don't want is um, somebody who's uncomfortable showing the home to individuals uh, to pick it up or somebody who's uncomfortable showing the home to families to pick this up. Please have already met your buyer beforehand and know that you have you should have a really strong relationship with them no matter what. Um, that you're explaining to them that this is an extension of your team. That this person showing the home is simply going to open the door for you. They're going to show you the home. And if you have any questions after the showing, they're not to, uh, you know, they're not going to answer those questions for you. That's for me. I'm your agent. I'm here to sign the contract. That sort of thing. Make sure you always, always, always prep your buyers beforehand. Now, public notes. This could be anything um, along the lines of like, this is a large property. Um, make sure to bring comfortable shoes to walk around in. Um, public notes, uh, this, you know, this is where people do signify whether this is like a final walkthrough. So you can always put like a final walk through and people can, they would know right away. Um, also, if it's a virtual, and then you can put the requirement is, uh, you know, must have uh, Skype or whatever app that you're using, Zoom. You get it. And in your private notes, this can um, include like some more direct contact information. This again is not shown to the showing agent until after they pick it up. Now, preferred showing agents. Now, the, you may or may not have some of these right away. You can always search your friends via email. But after showings, make sure to heart people so that they are added to your preferred agent network. It gives your uh, favorites a 10 minute head start. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that you can select a price for this showing. It is important to note that the showing agent receives a specific amount and the rest goes to Xiaomi. Uh, this will help out with a couple different things. Now we're gonna go ahead and click submit. Since I've gone ahead and clicked submit, I can now see my request um, that hasn't been assigned here that we just created. Now I'm gonna switch over to the showing agent it looks like to pick up a showing request. Once the request has been created, a text message will be sent out to 20 agents every 10 minutes in that area that we feel would be best fit to show the house. This is based off of our algorithms, and what it will do is it will send, like I said, a text message to all the agents um, in that, or, you know, the 20 agents in that area. These do have an average pickup time of three minutes, so it'll be very quick. Now you can see that the new dashboard does include showing opportunity available, but in the other way where if you are on the app, you can also still go to showing opportunities, or if you click the link, you'll also have access to it. Now, what you won't see is you won't see too much about the buyer's information. You're not given their name. You're not given their uh, phone number just yet. But what you can see is the requesting uh, broker agent or buyer's agent, the brokerage they're with, you know, is this a couple, yes or no, that sort of thing. 
you'll be able to see roughly where the location is. You still, you know, you do have access to seeing the exact address. So you could look up the address, see how close it is, see if it's worth your time to pick up. You can also counter propose this. You can counter propose based off of the time. So maybe you're like, hey, I can't do it today, but I could do it tomorrow at 3 p.m. Great. Or hey, um, this has a tool. Please, please, please put in the notes why you believe that this should be a different payout. We need to know and the agent needs to know because they're going to be more willing to pay more if they know why. Why am I paying more? Is it further away from most people? Is this in mountain country? Is this, is there a toll? The more that you communicate in your notes, the more likely your counter proposal will get picked up. Too often people are skipping this. But we're not going to go ahead and do that just for the sake of this uh, demo. We're going to go ahead and accept it. Now, once I've accepted it, I do get to see a little bit more information about the uh, actual showing. Now, in the event that all of a sudden the agent calls you up or the buyers call you up and say, hey, 5 p.m. no longer works. We're going to have to change that time. You can go in here and reschedule that time on behalf of both parties and with a note kind of explaining what's going on and that you've already talked to the listing agents. Make sure that the time is available. Next, you can communicate through here. You don't have to communicate via text if there's some important information that you're like, hey, I did send this to them. That's there. You can also add more showings to uh, the group. Now, a good, good thing to know is before the showing does take place, a couple hours before, you will be sent a text message to confirm that you are still showing that home. You must, an absolute must confirm that in order to get paid for the showing. Too often people forget that little step and they get upset because they're like, well, the showing did take place, but I didn't, I didn't get paid for it. And that's a large reason why. Also, before you start accepting showings, it's also important to go into your pay out account and make sure that you have properly filled out the information so that you can get paid for the showing directly into the correct bank account. Now, now that I do have that showing, it is in my showing opportunities area. And what's really cool is once it's completed, I can also go into my payout section and see estimated when that's going to happen. Like, when am I looking for uh, being paid for this showing uh, instead of, you know, wondering why? Why haven't I been paid just yet? That's what I mean. All right. Now, again, I'm going to say, hey, I'm shown the home and uh, we did a good job. I confirmed and everything's all set and ready to go. Now I'm going to go back to the buyer's agent side and we're going to take a look at what it looks like after you've completed it. Once a showing request is complete and show on me, uh, the buyer's agent will have access to this. They can leave a review uh, of the agent. You can favorite them. You can block them. So you can kind of give feedback and say exactly what you liked, what you didn't like. And you can continue to message them through here. Let's say uh, you had a quick question about what the favorite features of the house were, that sort of thing. That can all be communicated through Show Ami. You're also given 24 hours to tip them. A couple tipping things would be, hey, the showing agent stayed an extra half an hour because my clients were late by half an hour and they stayed and they still showed the home. That's a great tipping feature. Or afterward, they give like a five paragraph essay on everything that the client said throughout the showing. Those are some things. Anyway, uh, I hope that you found this video very helpful and it shows exactly what the process looks like when it comes to requesting showings in Showami and accepting those showings in Showami. Again, these agents are not going to give an opinion of price, quality of the home, condition, and not only the home, but the neighborhood. They're simply going to be opening the doors and then they're going to relay that information. In fact, the best practices as a showing agent is to take all the information that the clients have asked and say, hey, I can't answer those, but I'm going to go ahead and give my opinion to your agent. And then they can kind of talk you through exactly what your next steps should be. Have a great day.